Now we have crews spread out all across Florida's East Coast. And as the begin, be, sun begins to rise this morning at this hour, we're going to see more of the damage caused by what is now Tropical Storm Nicole. Let's start with Local 10's Rosh Lowe live in Lauderdale by the sea. We did not need the sun to rise to see the damage that you experienced this morning. Rosh. Yeah, we've been out here since 3 a.m. Eric, good morning, everyone. I first want to show you what we saw here several hours ago. Take a look at the pier here in Lauderdale by the sea. And as the sun begins to come up, you can get a good idea of the damage. Just take a look at that for a second. Pretty impressive. Now, let's get to our first piece of video. We were walking down the beach and you could see pieces of the pier that were thrown 30, 40, 50 feet down the beach here in Lauderdale by the sea. I want to give you some history of the pier. It's been around since the 1940s, was destroyed in the 60s, rebuilt, and it became a pillar of this community. One of the longest piers in South Florida, about 900 feet, and people would flock from all over to come to this pier, to fish, to take pictures, and simply to enjoy South Florida. And then we had Hurricane Irma, which swept in. And what happened then? Well, a portion of the pier was damaged once again. If we bring it back out here live, before I get to the sound, you'll see uh, what looks like a tent on your screen. After Irma, that portion of the pier, as I mentioned, was shut down, but people still were able to enjoy the pier until now. Now, at this hour, we still have people out there trying to do whatever they can to fix the pier. But when residents woke up this morning, they said, you know, this was a tropical storm. We had no idea it would destroy the pier. Take a listen. Irma destroyed all the rest out there in the front, and now there's, uh, this is our, it, what's crazy is it's not a hurricane no more. It's just waves and wind, and that's what took it out. So that's what's odd to me. And that was really the big story with this storm, and we were mentioning it yesterday, even when we were down in Miami-Dade County, when you have that consistent rain, wind, and the surf pounding the beach, and in this case, the pier, it takes its toll. And really, this became at its worst right before landfall, around right after midnight, 1220, 1230, and that portion of the pier here was taken out. So as the sun begins to rise, you have people here trying to fix the pier. It's not only a pier. You have to understand that businesses, restaurants, they're built around the pier and the tourists flock here to this pier. If you don't know the location, it's right off of Commercial Boulevard and A1A. We'll see what happens to the pier. It's been through a lot. They've been able to rebuild. And I'm sure a lot of resiliency here in South Florida. They will rebuild again. We're live in Lauderdale by the Sea. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.